just letting you guys know you can listen to my No Bleeps podcast anywhere you stream podcasts or on my No Bleeps YouTube channel. Link in the description. Hey guys, it's Billy and welcome back to Spills Edge. We have got to catch up on this Trisha Paytas and Ethan Klein in front of me situation because every single day there's more TikToks, more videos, different things that they are saying about the situation, different comments that they're responding to each other with. And we have Trisha's response to the latest Eats 3 After Dark episode that we need to talk about where Ethan and Ela discuss pretty much the reason why Frenemies did end. And so Trisha decided that they were going to upload their very own version of that video titled The Real Real Reason Why Frenemies Broke Up. And Trisha started off by saying they were making this video to defend their um. sister and continue the saga. They said Ethan is dragging this whole thing out, making jokes about the situation, and also they acknowledged that Ethan has claimed Trisha is trying to ruin the whole family, but Trisha still says they're going to continue making videos about the situation regardless of that comment. And I literally was cracking up, you guys, when Trisha says that there will be plenty of ads in this video. Like, get your coin, Trisha, because I see she's trying to make up for that 5% that she was not receiving from Ethan. But anyways, Trisha then gets into talking about Ethan and the last H3 after dark, which I talked about with you guys in my most recent Frenemies update, where when I watched it, mostly the reason that I was understanding as to the reason why Frenemies broke up was truly because it came down to money. Whereas that's not what Trisha heard, but we're gonna get into it. Trisha basically starts off their video by shading Ethan, saying that he just kind of shows up to set and the crew does most of the work, which lol, Trisha, I think that's why he hired the crew in the first place to take over tasks he was probably doing at one point in time. But anyways, Trisha then says, the staff does do a lot of work and hopes that they are getting that 5%. And it's like, it's the 5%. Like it has to be about money. It's just clear as day to me that money is a major factor in why Frenemies was going down. Obviously, there are more technical details behind the scenes as to why Frenemies broke up, like miscommunication and whatnot. But honestly, it just seems like the 5%. Trisha then says that 5% that goes to production costs is a lot of money and says that they hope each of the employees gets a $10,000 like bonus every single month because of that 5%. And I'm just like, what? There is no way 5% covers each and every single employee of the H3 production crew to get $10,000 extra every single month. There is simply no way. And if that is true and 5% covers every single employee getting $10,000 extra, or you know, a church is saying they should be getting $10,000 extra. If so, then 45% is a lot of money and honestly shouldn't even be sweating the 5% because, oh my God. I mean, there's just no way though. The 5% is $10,000 times like, probably 10 plus people that work there. Anyways, Trisha then says the money is supposed to go to a production cost, which is the table and the new cameras. And once again, I don't think that Trisha knows what production costs are. Like it's not production equipment. Production costs mean bills, the staff, the cost of buying that pizza they eat, the props they use, the places they film at, the thumb drives, the hard drives, the computer programs. Like Trisha, it's not just the cameras and the table you're sitting at. There's a lot more that goes into what production costs actually are. Anyways, Trisha says they're annoyed and not ready to move on because Ethan brought Trisha's um. sister into this whole situation and that's the main reason why Trisha decided to make um. this video. If you didn't see my last video covering H3 After Dark, Ethan and Neela basically discussed the fact that Trisha's sister made a TikTok talking about the whole thing and how Ethan and Neela didn't pay for Trisha's birthday dinner. They didn't pay when they went to Disney with them. VIP Disney tickets are very expensive. They invited themselves to go to Trisha's birthday at Disney, made themselves seem like freeloaders. So Ethan obviously clapped back on TikTok and on H3 After Dark and Trisha got really mad because Trisha's sister deleted that TikTok and then Ethan re-uploaded it when he responded and Trisha feels like it was just so wrong to do because Trisha's sister just doesn't have as big of an audience as Ethan and so Trisha felt like they were sending hate towards their sister unnecessarily. And I just wanna say that it's also extremely clear that Trisha did not even watch the entire H3 After Dark or 
really just kind of skimmed through because Trisha says that Ethan claimed the reason Frenemies ended was because of Trisha's sister, which isn't what he said at all. He said it was because of money, the 5%, and said it very clearly. So the fact that Trisha thought that the entire Age 3 episode was about how Trisha's sister ruined Frenemies just cracks me up because that's literally not the case. He was just responding to what their sister said. And specifically, one of the things that Trisha's sister brought up was that they literally couldn't believe that Ethan and Ela didn't pay for the Disney trip, didn't pay for Trisha's birthday dinner because you would think they'd have a lot of money because they get the extra 5%. Um, we end up paying for Ethan and Ela, which is crazy because he takes that 5% and VIP tickets to Disneyland is not cheap. That was the whole thing. That's when it became clear that clearly money was the big issue and this entire argument, this entire fight. That was the only reason why the sister was really honestly being brought into it because it was just so ridiculous how she was trying to claim they didn't pay and then saying that they should have the money to pay because they make that extra 5%, which is like, once again, Ethan is not pocketing 5% extra. He's literally using that money for the production costs. Uh, Trisha then says that the reason all this happened and why Frenemies is done is because Ethan lied and said Trisha hurt Sam's feelings by not liking the fan advice segment that day and that the crew needs a few days of not filming. They need like a break from Trisha. And Trisha says that launched all of this, the crew that felt disrespected and because he was basically telling Trisha the crew was uncomfortable with like working and stuff, Trisha was like, I just don't need to ever go back. Like I just don't need to go back if they feel disrespected, I'm like uncomfortable with working with them again. And I do think that is the reason, like that's a big reason, but what led to like the fighting, the 5% money, that was a really big factor. Obviously all conversations that should have been held behind the scenes, Ethan did say that he really did mess up. He fessed up, I believe apologized for the fact that he had kind of miscommunicated information between Trisha and the crew and he shouldn't have done that which very much true, he really shouldn't have done that. It was really not a good move for him to tell the crew that Trisha wanted them fired and all that stuff. It's obviously a very big escalated mess and I think Frenemies is done, 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 done. Trisha does discuss the Disney situation and says that it wasn't a big deal, that they didn't pay for anything. And also said like they didn't actually fight to pay for the things that they said they did in the Apes After Dark episode but that's just a mess. I think those are the little details that like don't need to be involved in the situation, like them going to Disney. I think it really should just be about the work stuff, but obviously everything is like getting pulled into this argument and every day it just gets a little bit messier. Trisha does feel like Ethan just should never have made the fight episode public to begin with and that he is inciting hate and just dragging all of this out for jokes. And then says that Ethan is basically a bully and says in multiple TikToks this exact same thing. And I guess that's what I realize. More do they want? And in other TikToks is talking about how the 5% skit um. that they did on H3 After Dark was borderline like a cult. What's something that's not a cult but borderline seems like one? Or it could be if it wanted to. And also Trisha joked about people wanting Trisha to apologize about everything. And then it's like Trisha running away. So I don't know when this whole thing is going to kind of wrap up when they're going to all just be like, all right, we're moving on because every single day there's something new that's posted. There's something new that's said. And I really don't know how this is going to like end end. I hope that they're all gonna be like on good terms because they're freaking family. Now, after all of this, Trisha ended up going on the Zach Sang show where they said it was good the show ended on a high note. That was one of the very few things that Trisha actually said that hadn't already been said before by them in a video. But I'm just confused as to what high note it ended on in Trisha's mind because I think it ended pretty badly. And a lot of people in the comments also were confused by this because it did not end on a high note. Like they went out because they had a fight. But anyways, that was that situation. And Ethan ended up doing a new Frenemies episode this week with his mom. 
He made like a clickbait title and a clickbait thumbnail of who was going to be replacing Trisha on Frenemies. And the episode was with his mom. And honestly, it was pretty funny and it was honestly precious. His mom is adorable. But that is pretty much the Frenemies drama update as of right now. Who knows how long this is going to go on for. Trisha feels like it just keeps getting dragged on and doesn't seem to want to stop anytime soon. So I guess we will just have to see. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.